A passion for Elvis launched Linda Deutsch's career. I became president of one of the first Elvis fan clubs in the country, and I started thinking it would be great to have a newspaper about Elvis, and so I started one. She was just 18 when she landed her first newspaper job in 1963. But this Jersey girl was drawn west, and four years later, she joined the Los Angeles Bureau of the Associated Press. My view at that time was I would stop in for a while, and I would learn what a wire service was all about, and then I would move on. Well, that's not quite how it worked out. Uh, I wound up there for 48 years. The Manson trial thrust her into the courtroom, launching a career as perhaps the nation's most preeminent legal reporter. Linda's reputation is the gold standard. She's able to uh, take what's happening in the courtroom and translate it instantaneously into clear, interesting, sometimes entertaining language, but all the time being objective. She has covered some of history's most sensational criminal trials, including Sirhan Sirhan, Patty Hearst, Angela Davis, John DeLorean, O.J. Simpson, William Kennedy Smith, and Michael Jackson. As the pool reporter during the O.J. Simpson trial, she became a known face to millions around the country. Afterwards, O.J. himself called Deutsch to thank her for her fair coverage. It's not my job, not my job to decide if a defendant did it, but I do have to telegraph to an audience whether they proved that he did it. When Linda's stories would hit the wire, that was the definitive uh, rendering of what happened in court that day. Linda has a fierce objection to secrecy. She's been a champion of openness and access uh, in, in the courtroom. I think that's one of her legacies as a journalist. Uh, she set a standard. She's a role model. When I came to the AP in Los Angeles, I was the only woman in the bureau of some 40 people. It was all men, and most of them smoked cigars. The kind of reporting Linda has did for 40 years, you just don't see it anymore. So we've lost, I think, um, a type of journalism and a type of journalist that we're not likely to see ever again. And, and so I'm, I'm sad about that. It's great theater, and it's as old as Shakespeare and as old as Socrates, and it's an extremely uh, powerful theater that tells us about ourselves and about the people on trial. And I think that it, it's ever fascinating.